I have been waiting for the official English development of for the upcoming new NHS content and system for 3 Observer ever since NextR released the dev note for last week. Now, so the major content that you can expect from this dev note, which include episode 13 2, new goddess raid, new hunting ground, and much, much more. Now, to my surprise, the development team is putting a lot of effort and workload to push out the new content as soon as possible while making up all the time and effort that it wasted on the comic class system update. Also, if you have not watched part 1 for the goddess equipment system which include valuable information related to the new accessory and our stories but also the full breakdown of how the goddess equipment system work the link to that video will be available in the video description below so feel free to check it out now starting with the first one we are getting episode 13 2 which is like a follow-up storyline of the beholder army invading orsa the savior are heading to the ashwa underground prisons with the hero Pachelta who has been led by fate and soon enough the savior will fake a terrible scene where the beholder casts a terrible spell upon humanity now the episode 13 2 will break down into three different categories which include the unexpected reunions demon law back from the dead and encounter with the beholders Next, we have the Goddess Grace, which is also known as the Saint Cecilum. Saint Cecilum is the first main content of the Goddess Grace, where you fight against Vasilisa to obtain the material for the Goddess Equipment Crafting and Enhancement. Saint Cecilum has Normal Mode and Hard Mode, just like Demonic Sanctuary, and the Entry Voucher, which is obtainable in the Normal Mode, is needed to enter the Hard Mode. You can play the Hard Ray by using the Voucher Recipe obtained via Normal Ray. Because this Voucher can be traded via Market, you can actually sell it and obtain a Silver if you can play with the Party, and you can play it with a casual that you want then it can be moved to the team storage in addition title will be given out when you clear the heart rate and more vasilisa scales and additional items can be obtained here is the table for saint cecilian for the normal mode but also the hard mode for the normal mode you actually need a goddess ring weapon and armor of every part and pacific gear score in order to enter now the hard mode you only need pacific gear score to enter I don't know if this is typo or not because for the goddess grade, you actually need a goddess ring weapon and armor in order to enter. This could be a typo, or it could be not. For the normal mode, you can actually enter two times per character and for the hard mode, you need the voucher that you obtain from the normal mode in order to enter the hard mode. In addition, you can actually purchase the voucher from the merchant bash shop at the price of 10,000. However, every time you purchase, the price will increase by 10,000. So by the time you get to the fourth purchase, it's going to be 40,000 batches, which is a lot, by the way. For the hard mode, you just use the voucher. Now, the main item you can get from the normal mode, which include Vasila scales up to 16 at 100% rate. Hard mode voucher recipe is going to be 20% rate. For the hard modes, we are getting the voucher recipe up to 48 at 100% chance, by the way. I don't know whether this is a typo or not. It could be a recipe for something else. It could be Vasilisa scales at 48. And then we are getting silver chest at 1% chance. We are getting the enhancement supplements at low chance. We're also getting the first clear title for the first party that cleared the hard mode. And then we get clear title. Next up, we have the new Soul Hunts area or the hunting grounds known as the Unknown Sanctuary. The Unknown Sanctuary is a new content like Soul Hunts where you obtain the material for the new equipment system and the main materials monster at the Unknown Sanctuary are enhanced by the curse of the Sanctuary, so it cannot be defeated by normal attacks like it does in the normal field monster. Grey of Sanctuary is needed to notify the curse of Sanctuary and hunt monster, and this effect can be applied for a certain amount of time by using silver via the entry NPC. So basically, it's gonna cost you at least 1 million silver to enter the soul hunt or the new hunting ground area for one hour however if you install a dungeon management office by consuming guild millage you can actually install a unknown sanctuary entrance NPC where you should see in seizing a champion league which consumed the guild fund by the way the entrance to NPC installed in town by the guilds it lasts until the next guild territory war every user including the guild member can have the cost of the grace of sanctuary decreased by 50 percent and can actually enter so you don't have to go there and the profit will be given to corresponding guild in addition the unknown sanctuary consists of the first and second floor with powerful monster the first floor is the normal monster area and can be played with solo second floor can be played with solo but the party play may be more suitable than there are boss monster in the unknown sanctuary you can obtain silver when defeating monster and consumable to upgrade the goddess equipment such as the goddess enhanced supplements level 460 awakening stone manic fire etc and can be obtained by chance also, Vivor Vision is a drop at a higher chance than the normal field. If you get lucky, the main considerable is needed for the involved system, which is applied in this goddess equipment, and every seasonal considerable obtained from the Soul Hunts can be traded in the market. 
Now, Sohan is not the only unique content that we are getting for the future update. We are actually getting one of the most unique content in the game, and that is called Heroic Stage. Heroic Stage is a non pacification casual content which is processed by clearing the stage. You can purchase the entry voucher from the Mercenary Bash Shops and enter via Content Status Board from F10 Dungeon Tab. Now, in the Hero Stage, Assisting Poverty Type and Armor Type is not affected, and you can choose any poverty of your choice that will apply in the content. Points obtained by playing the content can be used to upgrade equipment and purchasing buffs and upgrading the buffs to your higher tiers. Monsters appearing at the hero state can be trained frequently to different type properties and buffs. Now, from time to time, Savior will challenge the stakes at the most advantageous position. Players can receive the token of the goddess Gabicha, identify mystic tums, attribute points, etc. as clear reward, and special items can be received for weekly ranking reward, which will be added in the future update. Moving into the channel modes adjustment, now the channel modes excluded division singularities will be changed for the monster created in a certain range of the catcher to finding monster in a few maps every day and defeating them. Monster will be created according to number of party members, average of a level, etc. and individual party buffs will not be given. In addition, the reward also got changed. The silver obtained when cleared the channel modes has been decreased and will be substituted with the token of the goddess. This includes division singularity as well. Other than that, the drop of Vivora vision can be expected when defeating elite monster nuclear powder and zero powders are the same as it is now the auto match party channel most support two different levels 400 and above and 440 and above and a channel most for the solo play 440 or higher with the assessor is provided and the channel mode processed by the portal created in the field won't provide any more party plays field challenge is not processed with the only solo plus the assessor resources that silver and viral will be replaced with mercenary batches and higher exp However, I cannot give you guys my inputs how good with this speed because I don't know how valuable Token of Goddess will become, especially when you use Token of the Goddess to upgrade your equipment, but also can be the main secondary resources compared to the silver, but I guess we just have to see. Next up, we have the Bounty Hunt. A written order item can be received in the new field area from Ashkara Underground Prison, first floor, second floor, and containment area. New content Bounty Hunt will be start when you're using these items on the wanted board at each town. Now, Bounty Hunt is a solo play, and the goal is to complete the mission by starting from the town and reaching another random selected area within the time limit. Now, during the body hunts, every quick moving function such as the token, the content status board, photoshop, rap score, etc. cannot be used and must be moved to the point by yourself, which is your character. When moving in the field, the wanted monster also block your way. You cannot move to the next area during the combat, so you need to defeat them as soon as possible. When your character reaches the target area, you will encounter a special boss monster that only appear in the bounty hunt. After successfully defeating the boss, the bounty hunt ends and you can receive the reward. Some of the reward which include token of the goddess Gabija, bread of power, level 460, 80 gym fragment, level 460, 80 gym socket key, and much much more. Next is going to be Remnants of Beneath Dungeon. Now, the current Remnants of Beneath Dungeon is processed by clearing as many states as you can for the 15 minutes and set the rank for your character. The reorganized Remnants of Beneath Dungeon will be changed to selecting the states and process only the select states based on the highest stage of your character. The highest stage does not reset and you can try up to 6 more stages from your higher stage. The stage continues up to 3 minutes and the monster appears multiple times. And when you defeat every monster before the next creation time, the next monster will be created immediately. The ranking of the succeeded stage will be recorded as the following criteria. The appearance ranking will be reset as the procedure is changed. So for the first one, this is the table. When the succeeded stage is high. Second, when the time spent for the clean stage is fast. And lastly, order register in the ranking. Now, what's really important is that there will be a Coppola NPC that allow you to enhance your Ada gym that you obtained from the bounty hunt, which is really important by the way. You can summon this Coppola at no cost and let you upgrade a gym 3 up to 5 times per time. Now, the enhancement increase when clearing the entire stage compared to the Ada gyms. Additional entry voucher for the Revenant's Dungeon can be purchased in the Mercenary Bash Shop. Speaking of the Aether Gem, you have to collect the Aether Gem fragments from the Bounty Hunt and use it to craft the Aether Gem. The fragment can be traded in the market, but the gem is bounded as a team. Aether Gem can be equipped with one per equipment, and you have to unlock the Aether Gem socket, Aether Gem socket key, and golden socket, plus the Arsenal fragment is needed as the materials. Next, we have the token of the goddess shop. Now, token of the goddess shop uses one specific currency, and that is the token of the goddess Gabicha, which is obtainable from various content and is the main considerable for the season Vasilisa. 
You can purchase the various items that can upgrade the CZ equipment, which include the engraved stone, got it and gen geos, premium awakening stone, and much, much more. When the new equipment is updated in future, new token of the gods and item shop will be open. Period of season up shop can be used with a lower cost. Next, we have the Unique Ray Deletion. So basically, they are deleting all the old Unique Ray and move all of them into the Mercenary Bag Shop, which is really nice, by the way. You can get the recipe for Morning Pony and Unique Accessory and Monster Cars, specifically Legend Car for like Tantalizer, Scale, Clefts, Glacier, SEO Maze, Ignis, etc. Now, the only reason why they are doing this is because the fixed anchor extracted for Unique Equipment cannot be used on the Goddess Equipment, cannot be obtained anymore, and remaining as a Soul Stone and be exchangeable to the Mercenary the bad shop by right clicking it which is not bad in my opinions because they are pushing all the old content out and focus on on the new content Next is going to be the TP shop update. Now, I'm not going to go over every single thing on this list right here because it's not necessary. But what I can tell you is that some items are getting discounts, some items are getting added to the shop, some off-sale items, and etc. If you're interested in checking out the whole list, feel free to check out the link to the depth note that will be available in the video description below. Some other adjustments, they allow us to kind of install the table in town now so you don't have to worry about walking outside dungeons or fields just to use the table, which is really nice by the way. Next is the Goddess Grace item renews. Now let me tell you what is going on here. They are adding three new legendary items, which is a Gabicha First Authority. So basically, if you collect all these three items and add it to your collection, you will get 2,000 physical and magic attack. However, you don't have to do that. When the shop go into off season, you can purchase it at a reasonable price of 10,000 token of the Goddess Gabicha which is pretty nice. So you don't have to use Goddess Grey to get this early. If you have a lot of silver and you want to bang with it, go for it. But if you're like myself, just wait until the item added to the off-season shop and buy it with 10,000 token of the Goddess, which is 30,000 in total, by the way. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Adoji, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.